the two best teams in the Irish League, the biggest day in the local football calendar and a capacity crowd for an occasion to remember. Linfield going for a remarkable clean sweep of trophies, Glen Torren out to spoil the Blues party. Greats from Linfield teams past Peter Rafferty and Martin McGacky entertained the fans before the game. But the biggest cheer was reserved for Glen Little, Glen Torren legend and now a Premiership footballer thanks to Reading's promotion. The colours of the champions on display in the cup at kick-off a game with so much at stake started at a real pace. Glen Torren had the game's first chance but Colin Nixon's header was well saved by Alan Manis. But Linfield came back strongly, Peter Thompson with the chance but his shot skewed wide. Then Elliot Morris performed heroics to keep the Blues from scoring. The first goal of the game came just a minute before half-time. Wiley McDonough won the header and Michael Halliday hooked the ball into the net. Halliday has scored two winners in two finals but before he could think about a possible third, Linfield had equalised. Ferguson to McAreevy, he pulled back Peter Thompson with the strike. The scores were equal but it was Linfield who went in at the break on a high. In the second half there were a few chances but cometh the occasion, cometh the man. Peter Thompson, goal number 48 of the season. A great finish, a remarkable footballer. The Glens had no answer. Linfield had the Nationwide Irish Cup to the CIS, the County Antrim Shield and the Premier League title. David Jeffrey side the first in 44 years to do the clean sweep. They'll go down as one of the local game's greatest ever teams. Thompson, congratulations, man of the match. Two goals in the cup final. You couldn't have written it any better. No, personally for myself, I couldn't have written any better. And for the for the rest of the lads to go out and, and finish the season in style and go on and, and, and win the cup, that's a tremendous climax to what's been an unbelievable season. We've talked a lot about the character of this Linfield team. What character you showed today, going behind but pulling the two goals back? Yeah, I think well, that gives us a kick on the backside of the needle probably. I don't think we were playing particularly well, but then once the, once the goal went, then I think that woke us up and we certainly went on and played some unbelievable stuff in the second half. And maybe unfortunately not, they got a few more goals, but uh, we'll certainly sell for the 2-1 anyway. And man of the match for you, you must be very pleased. Yes, that's a nice feeling, but uh, you know the most important thing was that we won. You know, uh, If I was going to get the man of the match, I suppose there was a first chance of on, on the winning side, and that's the most important thing. So uh, I'm just delighted that we went on and won, and uh, all the boys really deserve for a great effort all season. And it's, uh, it's a lovely way to end it. Well, we've just made history, you know, 61, 62, and, and people thought we wouldn't do it. We've done it and done it in style. The supporters have been fantastic. My players have been superb. It's been a great day. And this is what it means to Linfield. The player of the season scores for the team of the season. Linfield win the clean sweep in 2006. Neil Britton, UTV Live, Windsor Park.